Breaking news, Timu is dead, or at least very close to being dead, which is bad news for Timu customers, but it's great news for Amazon sellers. And I'll explain why that is in just a minute. But imagine you're a Timu customer scrolling through Timu, looking at the imitation smartwatch, that cool looking bathroom shelf, or that knockoff designer handbag. But then you notice something has recently changed. The prices aren't dirt cheap anymore. In fact, they look almost normal. And some of these prices are actually even more expensive than the same product on Amazon. But why? What's changed? And that's what we're gonna talk about in depth in this video. But in a nutshell, the US government just dropped a nuclear bomb that could destroy Timu's cheap prices. But here's the interesting thing. This bomb is not just going to affect Timu it's gonna affect a lot of other e-commerce platforms. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Travis. I make seven figures a year selling on Amazon. And if you wanna make money online, you're gonna to need to know what I'm talking about in this video because there is a huge shift that is reshaping how people shop online. And it's affecting every major online shopping platform from Timu to Alibaba to AliExpress to Shein and yes, it's even gonna affect Amazon. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about why Timu is now pretty much dead and what this means for you and also the huge opportunity that this is for you to start making money online if you haven't already. And if you're a Timu customer or you're looking to start selling products online, this is a must watch video. But before we get into the nitty gritty about the new rule changes that killed Timu, let's review how Timu has been able to dominate US e-commerce so far. And Timu had three main advantages that allowed them to crush the online competition, to have dirt cheap prices, and make it hard for Amazon sellers to compete. Those things are changing. The first advantage they had was the backing of a multi-billion dollar company, PDD Holdings, also known as Pindaodao. PDD is a Chinese e-commerce platform specializing in social commerce, which is basically getting you to buy more things through fun games, prizes, and your community. And as of September 2024, PDD Holdings has a market cap of around $179 billion, making it one of the largest companies in the world that sells products online. And for the past two years, PDD has been throwing money at Timu to help it to grow faster and faster right here in the United States. And it was working. However, last year, Wired Magazine reported that Timu was losing an average of $30 per order in the US. Meanwhile, in China, Merchant Securities calculated that Timu was losing between $588 million to $954 million per year. That is a ton of money that they were losing. And that leads us to the second reason that Timu was taking over e-commerce in the United States. But before I get to that, make sure to smash the like button so that everyone on YouTube can hear about this big news. And as I mentioned, this is gonna lead to a huge opportunity if you're looking into Amazon FBA, which is selling on Amazon. And I have a complete program where I talk about in depth how to take advantage of Amazon FBA, make a ton of money selling on Amazon. And there's a link to that down below in the description. But I'm actually gonna be giving you a free eight hour Amazon FBA course at the end of this video, so keep watching. And the second advantage that Timu had is they had cheap labor and tons of Chinese sellers desperate to sell on their platform. And why wouldn't they? Timu was blowing up and so many smaller Chinese manufacturers were hurting for a long time. They needed the money. On top of that, Chinese customers were actually spending less money. So a lot of Chinese manufacturers and sellers who were desperate to make money started thinking about international markets like here in the United States, and they started using the Timu app to take advantage of American money. And one of the ways they did this is by cutting the prices of their product so they were dirt cheap. And that leads us to the third reason why Timu was dominating in the United States. They were using the de minimis advantage, which allowed products and goods valued at $100 or less to enter the United States without paying any import duties. And because Timu doesn't have to pay these import duties, they were able to price their products much lower than other products that were being sold on websites like Amazon. And this made it so that customers flocked to the app because they were able to get prices cheaper than anywhere else. And it made it so that Timu became the number one shopping app 
almost overnight. And as of July, 2023, Timu had over 130 million downloads in less than one year. But as fast as Timu rose to success, their crash has been equally fast. And here's where the big news comes in. In just the last month, all three of these advantages have pretty much vanished. First off, PDD Holdings is actually underperforming. They missed market estimates, meaning that they aren't making as much money as they thought they were gonna be making, which makes it so that investors are nervous about putting any more money into Timu. And to make matters worse, the execs in China are terrified about the massive economic downturn that's happening in China right now. And not even Timu's millions of overnight customers can save them. So PDD Holdings, the company that is funding Timu, doesn't have a promising future. I mean, its shares have nosedived by over 28%, which wiped out almost $55 billion in market cap within just a few months. So it turns out that throwing money away with Timu has finally caught up to the parent company. And even worse, the US government just enforced three massive changes, which I'll tell you about in just a second. But I can tell you right now that these new changes are crushing Timu sellers because the only way to make products on Timu so cheap is to squeeze the sellers for every penny. And now Timu sellers are starting to revolt because they're not making that much profit with the products that they're selling. Recently, hundreds of Timu suppliers staged a demonstration at an office affiliated with Timu in the southern city of Guangzhou. Here, sellers protested the crazy high fines and fees that they were needing to pay to Timu to be able to sell products on their platform. In fact, Timu was even withholding payments on goods that were already sold. And even with all this trouble, Timu is constantly demanding that sellers lower their prices. And if a seller doesn't agree to lower their price, Timu just deletes their products from the marketplace. But that's not all. The final nail in Timu's coffin just happened. On September 13th, the Biden administration introduced new changes to the de minimis rules in an effort to stop these ultra low cost shopping marketplaces like Timu from being able to take advantage of this de minimis rule. So they decided to change this de minimis rule, which is gonna force Timu to increase their prices because they're going to have to pay tariffs and duties on the products that they're shipping in. Timu could bypass these expensive tariffs by keeping the value of shipments under $800 but now they have to pay the customs fees and tariffs for every shipment. And if that wasn't bad enough, the second part of the changes are really going to crush Timu and Xi'an. With these new rules, they impose stricter information collection for each low value shipment that wants to use this de minimis exemption. Sellers will now need to provide the 10 digit tariff classification number. So US Customs will be able to check out everything coming into the country, which means there's no way for these Timu sellers to sneak products in for free anymore. Sellers will also have to tell Customs who the buyer is to even try and claim the de minimis exemption which makes it even tougher for them to avoid taking responsibility for bringing poor quality products into the United States. And if all of that was not bad enough, here is the last thing that's gonna kill Timu once and for all. And this new rule, from now on, if you're importing goods for personal use, like all Timu customers are doing, you must provide either your employer identification number, which is an EIN, or you're gonna to need to provide a social security number, which means that if you are a customer buying things on Timu, you're gonna to have to give the Timu app your social security number. And I don't know how many customers out there are gonna feel comfortable giving their social security number to a Chinese made company slash app. So now if you're a customer in the United States, you have the choice of giving your social security number to Timu to save a few dollars and knowing that your package is gonna take weeks to arrive, or you could spend a couple dollars more, you don't have to give your social security number, and you can buy things from Amazon and it arrives in two days. So if the US chooses to enforce this new rule, it's gonna kill Timu pretty much once and for all. On top of that, there's another big rule that's gonna even out the playing field between Timu and Amazon. And that is that all importers of consumer goods will now be required to file certificates of compliance electronically at the time of entry. And this will make sure that all the products being imported comply with US safety regulations. Now this is huge because it addresses a big loophole where foreign sellers like Timu sellers might be able to avoid US safety regulations by shipping items as low value packages. For example, right now, 
Timu is shipping children's toys with unsafe levels of lead and other harmful chemicals, plus tons of counterfeit phone and laptop chargers, power banks, and electronic devices, all without passing mandatory UL certifications are being shipped into the United States. And these UL certifications prevent things like fires or electronic shock. And Timu was able to sell cheap products because they weren't properly testing their products and they were selling products that might not even comply with the rules that we have set in place for safety. And it's not just Timu who's gonna be affected by this. Xi'an has been accused of selling clothing that contains hazardous chemicals like formaldehyde and cosmetics that contain mercury. And adding these safety regulations are gonna make sure that all these products are safe, but it also could be the thing that destroys Timu because it's gonna make it so these Timu sellers can't just sell low quality crap anymore. Now here's where the good news is for people like you and me that are looking to make money online. In fact, this opens up a massive opportunity. And since you're still watching this video, that means that you probably wanna know what all of this means for you and your ability to make money online. And you're probably curious, is it still possible for you to make money by selling products on Amazon? And right now, I'm gonna share with you the huge opportunity that this has opened up, and this is something that's going to change your life. Because on Amazon, there are sellers, people just like you and me, that are making over $100,000 a year selling their products on Amazon's website. In fact, I'm one of those Amazon sellers that's making over $100,000 a year, and I'm gonna tell you why all these rules that are killing Timu means that it's the perfect time for you to start selling on Amazon and start making money online. And selling on Amazon has changed my life. It allowed me to make passive income so that I could spend my time doing whatever I wanna do. I've traveled around the world and now I only work a few hours a day and I make more money than I ever thought I would. But when I first was introduced to the idea of selling on Amazon over eight years ago, I was scared probably like you are right now. I was stuck in analysis paralysis and I thought eight years ago that it was too late to start selling on Amazon, that that opportunity was over. But I'm here to tell you right now that it's not too late to start selling on Amazon. In fact, I recently launched a business. I only spent seven days working on this business and so far in the last six months, this business has made over $100,000. It's an electrolyte company and I have videos on this channel where I share in depth how I started that company. But when I first heard about selling on Amazon, I actually procrastinated. I waited a year from when I had my idea to actually launch it on Amazon. But once I launched my first passion product on Amazon, I made over $360,000 in revenue, over $100,000 in profit, in my first year ever launching a passion product and selling it on Amazon. Which means if I would have launched that business a year earlier, I would have made an extra $100,000 in profit. And I'm here to tell you to stop waiting and stop overthinking about selling on Amazon. Right now is the perfect time to start selling on Amazon because of all these new rules on Timu, millions of customers are going to leave Timu and flock back to Amazon again. The prices on Timu and Amazon are gonna start to be around the same, except for Amazon is a lot more trustworthy and people are gonna be able to get their products from Amazon a lot sooner. And I wanna help you to start selling on Amazon for free. I have a free eight hour course that I'm gonna to give to you in just a minute. But if you are looking for a little bit more help and a little bit more handholding, I do have a complete Amazon FBA program where I take you step by step and teach you how to do it. And I've taught over a thousand people how to sell on Amazon and my students have gone on to start six and even seven figure Amazon businesses. And I share their stories, how they did it and how I do it in this free eight hour YouTube video. It's completely free. All you have to do is click on that video, watch this free eight hour course and learn everything you need to know in order to sell on Amazon. So click on that video. I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching.